Hey YouTubers, it's me, Lonnie Clark again. Uh, I'm here to read and again, I'm going to plod on. I apologize for the delay. There is just, uh, I just don't know what to tell you. There's just not enough of me to get done what I need to do. I want to read this. I have homework to do, which is a priority. I have had tax work to do. I'm a little bit free you know that tax time's out. Not as urgent. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to plug away at this. I'm reading, I'm finishing reading, uh, Testing the Validity of the International Atomic Energy Agency Safety Culture Model. Shocking! Never been tested, and we're at the analyses. So, uh, let me read what this says. 2.3.4 analyses. 2.3.4.1 Confirmatory analyses. Confirmatory factor analyses, which is the CFA, were performed using the Linear Structural Relationship, L-I-S-R-E-L, LISRL, program version 8.8, .8, George Stock and Sonborn, 2006, to estimate the parameters of the five mo excuse me, to estimate the parameters of the five-factor model, polychoric correlations were analyzed by means of a robust maximum likelihood estimation method. I don't know what that means. Robust maximum likelihood estimation method. The reason for choosing this were twofold. First, considering the size of our sample, n equals 468, this method is preferable to other specific methods for ordinary variables, such as weighted least squares, because it does not require inverting the asymptotic covariance matrix. Wow, how's that for some uh, technical uh, edumacation language? <laughs> Second, RML is a commonly accepted estimation technique for the ordinal nature of the variable under study. And it is more suitable than maximum likelihood when the assumption of multivariant abnormality does not hold, as is the case in our sample, because it's too large, I guess. When RML is used, standard errors and goodness of, goodness of fit indices are corrected for non-normality. Okay, I think I understand most of that. 2.3.4.2, exploratory analyses. Uh, the structure of the IAEA was also explored by means of principal component analysis with oblimin, oblimin rotation, O-B-L-I-M-I-N, new word to me, oblimin rotation, without establishing the number of factors a priori. Okay, so I don't know what that oblimin, maybe rotating. I don't know, I'll guess. I'll look it up later. The reason for carrying out a PCA instead of an exploratory factor analysis was that the PCA provides a mathematical representation of the construct, construct in terms of the measure variables without imposing the directionality of the effects of the construct to the items. This allows us to control the possibility that safety culture is a formative, multi-dimensional construct instead of a reflective, multiple-dimensional construct. Typically, constructs are viewed as reflective since responses to the indicators are thought to be caused by the latent variable that is measured. Because there is a strong safety culture Open reporting of deviations and errors is encouraged. Oh, I see. Okay. In this case, the EFA and principal access is the best option. The indicators are expected to be highly correlated, but dropping one indicator from the measurement model is not expected to alter the empir empirical meaning of the construct. Okay. However, in some occasions, indicators are viewed as causing rather than being caused by the latent variable. 
In these cases, the constructs are formative instead of reflective, in such a way that changes in the indicators determine the changes in the value of the latent variable. Because open reporting of deviations and errors in, is encouraged in the organization, a strong safety culture emerges. Huh. In this case, the principal component model is more adequate. Wow, that's interesting. Results. Confirmatory analysis. Fit indices provide information. Oh, excuse me. This is 3.2.3.5, 2.3.5.1, 1, confirmatory analysis. Fit indices provide information about how well the proposed model empirically fits the dot driving theory. The chi square x squared value is the traditional measure for evaluating overall model fit. However, because chi squared value is sensitive to sample size, the use of other indices is recommended. Values of NNFI and CFI greater than 0.9 0.95 are presently recognized as good as indicative of good fit. Values of RMS, RMSEA and SMR under 0.08 indicate an acceptable fit, with lower values indicating a better fit. The five-factor CFA revealed that the goodness of fit of the model proposed by the IAEA five dimensions with 37 corresponding attributes, did show satisfactory fit. Satora Bantler scaled x squared equals 1901.23, df equals 619, p is less than 0.01, nnfi equals 0.985, cfi equals 0.986, RMSEA equals 0 0.017 and SRM and SRMR equals 0 0.055. Alrighty then, you have to remember what all those acronyms mean. CFA, confirmatory factor analysis is the CFA, the five factor CFA, confirmatory factor analysis. Okay, so then we have what? The DF, what's the M? The N is the 468, that's right, NNFI, RML. Well, I'm going to move along because you guys can look this up on your own. Regarding com convergent validity of the attributes reflected in the items, results indicated that the items converged well enough since the standardized factor loadings of the five-factor structure proposed by the IAEA were statistically significant, P is less than 0 0.01, and high according to the standards. As a rule of thumb, an item loads high if the corresponding factor load is above 0 .60, 0 0.60, and it does not load high enough if the corresponding loading factor is below 0 0.40. Our results show that the five-factor model of all the factor loadings, with the exception of items 1E and 1.7, were larger than 0 0.60, ranging from 0.45 and 0.55 for items E1 and E7 respectively, to 0.92 for all item A1. Thus, supporting convergent validity. However, results on the discriminant validity of the five dimensions proposed by the EA were not satisfactory. The correlation coefficients among the five dimensions of the IAEA model were extremely high, ranging between 0 0.90 and 1. Half of them, correlations between dimensions C and A, dimensions C and B, dimension D and C, dimensions E and C, and dimensions E and D, were not empirically discriminable as the correlations were not significant, did not significantly differ from 1. P is greater than 0 0.05. 
The remaining correlations, although significantly lower than one, were too large from a practical point of view. Following the criterion of Klein, 2005, who stated that the discriminant validity can be established when inter-factor correlations are below, are below 0.85. Hmm. This is interesting. This is all about how they test the safety culture model. Well, I'm going to stop because I'm getting bored. This is why I can't read this because it's like, if I'm getting bored, you must think it's hideous. So I'll mark it there. And uh, I'm going to put up another video tonight after I finish my homework. I apologize for not getting back to you, but it was super busy. Taxes, my birthday, school, homework, ah, work, and family. <laughs> so anyways, guess what, you guys? There is only one life. We, life is only happening once. We have only our one life. It's up to us. Please watch a documentary called Quietly Into Disaster. I just found it. Uh, thankfully, I did. It is like one of the most informative pieces of information about the nuclear industry, the truth about the nuclear industry, what our options are, really how limited they are. But we need to face this, and it's a awesome. It's by Dr. I'm going to tell you his name. Hold on. Dr. Holger Strom, or it's, that's who made the movie, Dr. Holger Strom. And the YouTube channel is Holger Strom, H-O-L-G-E-R-S-T-R-O-H-M. I don't know if it's the man who made the movie who owns this channel or somebody who names himself after here, but I think it's him. Uh, but I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to end here. Put your courage feet on. Let's face this together. There is lots to live for. So, um, one life. You know that old saying, only one life that soon is past. Only what's done with love will last. <laughs> I have that actually on a little placard and I hang it up on my wall. So, ciao you guys. Put your courage feet on and take some action. Do what you can do. And, um, seriously, get active whatever that is for you. So, ciao, with peace.